So because of June nineteenth, Juneteenth, uh, the right. ratings are delayed another day. We're recording this on Tuesday, so not even till Wednesday. Till we really? get the um, collision rate, yeah, because Ju- Juneteenth is Monday, so it pushes everything right. back. So, um, did you watch Collision? Yeah, I watched. I turned it on at eight o'clock at work because, like, there's usually a slow time between eight and ten for me at work. And, and bro, everybody, it was so funny. You know, okay, the the visual look of the product was it looked more prof- like it looked cleaner and more professional, and like there was more money in in the show. Like, like, it, like, it seemed like the production level was like, I don't know. Did it seem like that to you? Yeah. Okay. Um, everybody was talking about how great it was. Um, I, it, what, what did you, let me ask your, your opinion. What, what did you think of the show? I just thought it was better paced. And I, I just think that finally Tony found out, figured out, or somebody told him, bro, you don't got to stick 10 pounds of shit in my five pound bag. There's no way you can push 50 guys at the same time, you know? It was a, it was just better pace and it had, uh, you, you like the, you liked the show? Yeah, no, no, I no. I thought no. it was better. Uh, th- that's, I said that's... it was better paced. Okay. Better paced. Th- right. Yeah. The one and thing I, I liked, did... I liked, I liked the, uh, opening promo by punk the huh? guys mega over bro. Right. Um, I'll, I'll say this, the video packages were a drastic improvement on what they right. usually do. Okay. Right. I, I, I did notice that. However, right. bro, this was the first show. And they, and this is what what they do. They their first show is their highest rated show. They right. didn't do anything on this show to make me want to watch this show the next right. week. That's that's there a was, big problem. Right, that was right. my problem with it because why did Punk have to win? Why didn't Joe leave him lame? Or what? What when Punk cut his promo? What I mean, there wasn't even. It was just a generic. I'm back. I, you know, cut the, like, well, it wasn't, a, gen- it wasn't really- a generic. It was a punk promo, and he threw a couple pipe bombs, which is what people wanted. You know, he but didn't, but the it, bucks. Didn't, it didn't he start dissed- any angle or anything, though. You know, well, he's starting one with Joe, you know, but it doesn't even look like he's doing one with Joe. I know. So, why story- did you put them? Uh, uh, okay, now Joe's a big, huge. Ring of Honor, ECW, all that type of mark. Did you see that show, uh, Joe? I saw the promo and I saw the main event, so I saw the punk stuff. Did you see the match? Did you see their match? Yeah, yeah. I saw the opening promo and I saw the main event, yeah. Did okay. you actually watch that main event well, okay. from start to finish? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. What did they do? Okay, you were probably interested in seeing Joe against punk, right? Like I was, or no? Right. Yes, yes. Okay. What did they do to make you come back next week to make you think they're in a feud? Nothing. Right. Nothing. That's it, a it, big it, problem. I, it seemed like one of those. Look at, look at, and I hate to do this because they always think, oh, you're sucking WWE. Bro, when WWE sucked, we buried him every f- week. When they did that, oh, you don't bury Ray or Dominic. When Ray did that eye angle, I buried them. You know what I'm saying? Right. So at the end of the day, bro, WWE does such a better job of leaving cliffhangers and doing threads throughout the show. And you know what I'm saying? I mean, bro, it's not that hard. If you've been watching wrestling your whole life, like Tony has, or it's the guys that are around him, you know, but I did think the show was better paced. I will say that. Right. Yeah. It would have, yeah. like uh, you said before, if Joe would have left Punk Lane or something, at least there's something. Right. Right. Why did to? Punk have to like- win? It was just a, you know, clean win and yay, Punk wins in Chicago and he's back and that's about it. They didn't right. give you any info on what he's going to be doing going forward. But I don't know, maybe they'll do something on Wednesday. Hey, so- Well, why did you put Joe in a match with him making the, the hard chords, which is most of their fans, believe that this is going to be Joe Punk 2.0? Because a lot of people remember the first feud in Ring of Honor, which was excellent. Mm-hmm. And they're thinking, okay, now they're bigger stars and they're going to meet again. It's on. It wasn't on. No, it was. Pro- I, I think it, it seems like it happened in like its own little universe. Like, hey, this is just the match to see him come back. There's no story to it. It's just maybe a, a look. Okay, back he, and go. okay, yeah. good. He came back. He came back. He got the pop. He did the promo. Right? People. Lo- okay, Punk's back. You know, uh, Surly Punk is back, which we all love. Okay, mm-hmm. now going to be on in the main event with Joe, and then you were like, eh, okay, yeah. you know. Come on, dude. You get, yeah. you, you got a big audience. Bro, this is you, when you do your big angles. Okay. They don't – he obviously does not listen to our show. Okay. He listens to the Dirt Sheet guys and the Mark Podcasters that but were 
great show. Put him over. Her, right. The show was perfect. This right. show, and I'm like, right. you know, just like it's like, dude, this wasn't even. This was a typical AEW show. A bunch of standalone matches didn't really mean much. Where the angles were going to be very obvious. So, like the post match angle. Like the funny thing was like, why are they doing a guy that's one third of the of the trios champions against a random guy that hasn't wrestled in a while? I said they're pro- I and I I predicted this. I go, I bet you they're going to do a thing where they attack him after the match. And it leads to a six man next week with two like the other guys. This was a no. It was funny too. They did have one awkward out during the show, and it was that the spot with the uh, the, the House of Black. The lights went off, and they come back on. And House of Blacks in the ring, and they they uh, um, they beat up Andrade. Right then, mm-hmm. the lights went back off again, and like I thought they were going to come back on him, and then they they cut away to a Scorpio Sky interview. Did you remember? Right, you that was very that? weird. Yeah, right. I was like, what? <laughs> why? Is it, that why should not be light? happening. Right? Why did they turn the lights off again? You know, it's like, right. well, I think they like miss. I like maybe they missed something there. Like, Bro, like please, the lights are supposed to come back on, and I don't know. I please explain to me what Julia Hart adds to that group. Well, she at one point she reached over and she grabbed the top of the head of that skull. Oh, well, that, 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 yeah, that was really important. (laughs) Right. The one that was on the stair. Yeah. 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 Does that remember that? There we, and there we show a close up of her with the hat. Like she's supposed to be ominous. Right. She's so unthreatening. So, I mean, right. um, Right. Sigh emoji. I did also see clips from from the sky blue match, though. That was, uh, that was entertaining. Yeah. What was entertaining about it? Uh, there's just a lot of the pervert cams and everybody's doing the free streams. That Bro, you're a perv great. yourself. Yeah, you know That's why you're watching it. They're watching. Oh, no, that's interesting. You know but she does. Bro, the, the, her trunks like half her ass is hanging out. Oh yeah, she's very cheeky for sure. I mean, she like her trunk. Her trunk line is like at the middle of her butt. Well, like like her trunks. Good for her. Right. Well, it's on purpose. I know. Of yeah. course it is. I mean, maybe that's why she's so. Maybe it's like there's no mystery why she's so popular. Yo, what up? This is Conan, and I host Keeping It 100, my co-host, Disco Inferno, unfortunately. Well, I'd say you're my co-host. Listen, every Thursday here on Spreaker, we talk pro wrestling, sports, movies, music, TV, pop culture, and some politics. It's everything the rest of the pro wrestling podcasts are not. Tune in to hear myself, the superior one, educate and inform. Tune in to hear me bury Disco. That's very disrespectful. Join us every Thursday on Spreaker and Keep It 100. Boom!